What's up, everybody? Welcome back to It's Just Plastic. My name is Hal. You've seen the thumbnail. You know what? Bat Family, I'm reviewing today. That's right. I got Batwing and not the Batwing, not the flyable one. The dude. That's so confusing. Why did they do that? All right. I love Batwing. Batwing is a really cool character. I just hate the name like, I, I think the name's cool like I think it fits him but we should have made named him something different than the batwing like yeah batwing already was a thing <laughs> like the people at DC comics were like what do we call him let's see he flies uh, bat fly bat um, batwing really you didn't even have to start with bat I mean you Nightwing, spoiler, uh, I mean, Bluebird, like, all these different characters, but Robin, I mean, heck, we're, I mean, we could have came up with a dang bird name, obviously, like, something, but, no, Bat, Batwing, so, the, the, you know, the plane, no, not the plane, the dude, come on, DC, <laughs> anyways, I think we only got, like, one other release of Batwing, and I think Mattel released him. I will show that one at the end of the video. I'm, I know I have him. Um, I think there's only one. If I have others, I will show them, just kind of give you a different comparison. But he looks pretty cool. I like a different take. This is the uh, more robotic, uh, and I don't think he was ever silver by any means. He was always kind of a blackish-gray, something to that effect. Uh he would stick out like a sore thumb at nighttime if he looked like a big metallic flying, you know, bat. <laughs> All right, there's Batwing, Batman Incorporated. Uh, I definitely have to go back and look at the Batman Incorporated version and see if he looks like that. But even the art on the back, he does have some silver to him, but he's more black than anything. Like, of course, he would be black. Like, anyways. Um, <laughs> doesn't make any sense. Uh, there's Batwing. Oh, look, there's a there's a little scanner there. You want a QR code? Ooh, come on now. All right, this one I got this one up at Target. There's your uh, barcode if you want it. I don't know if these are out in other stores. I've never seen. I haven't seen him anywhere else. I think Entertainment Earth. I'll put a link down there for Entertainment Earth because we know how Target works. You never know if you're gonna get it or not. Um, but I don't even think he's on. I don't even think he's actually up on Entertainment Earth or anything else yet. So I'll put it down there. Y'all check it out. If he is in stock, you can use the link down below and get 10% off. And if you spend sixty dollars or more, you can get free shipping. So it's a little different than the free shipping sixty. I get that. You could use that and not have to worry about dealing with me. But you don't have to deal with me. You can just help me out. Plus, if you use mine, you get 10% off, which gets the taxes gone. Everybody loves no more taxes, right? Who wants to keep paying taxes? Nobody. All right, so enough of that. Before I move on, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe. Check out all the links down below. Kind of already pointed at that, but you know what I mean. All right, let's go ahead and flip the camera and get into it. Plus, you want to check out my merch. You know you want to check out my merch. <laughs> All right, there he is out on the table with his accessories. Y'all remember when flying characters used to get the flight, the flight stands? Y'all remember these? No? DC? You know, McFarlane? No? This, this would be a really good figure to get one of those. Especially since he's Batwing. But nonetheless, we got a cool little stand there. You know, or sell them separately. You like to make money, McFarlane, you know? Uh, <laughs> and then there's the card. I still dig the trading cards. I think they're a little weird, but not weird, but I think they're a little different. I like them. David. Yeah, I'm not even going to say that. There you go. Cool, man. Add another card to the collection. So he comes with a couple of blast effects. This big one right here gets keyed in on his back. Not sure if... Uh, yeah, there you go. Alright. And then he's got 
two more blast effects. Little small ones that get keyed into the bottom of his feet. Cool, cool. It's a little odd since one blaster's there and one blaster's there, but that's the blast effects. So. Anyways, <laughs> I'm not knocking. I still like it. I still think they're cool. I, I like the... I like the idea. If we had a flight stand, we could have put him on it and made him look like he's flying. All right. Let's go ahead and get into him. Check it out. Looks really good. Looks a lot like uh, Batwing. Good likeness to the comic books and everything. Did a very good job with that. Uh, shoulders are connected to the biceps. Sorry, I'm trying to look. See, they're connected down here. So when you swivel... They move. That's pretty neat. Overall, a good looking figure. Big bat on the chest. I just don't really like the fact that he looks like Cyborg. He's just a big metal... Just, yeah. Alright. You know what? If we could have put some... They should have shaded him. Like, made him dark. You know what I mean? I guess, I guess you could do that with a black wash. That would make him look really good. Uh, kind of add the darkness to the suit that I feel like is needed. Um, just the way he is now, just, just he really looks bright to me. Like, it's not enough justice in this video, like in pitch, in person, with the lights bouncing off of him. He looks like at nighttime, he would just be like, bling! <laughs> he would be a star flying through the night. Like, any light hits him, this would be like, oh, there's Batwing. Yeah. <laughs> there's no stealth mission with this one this suit um, there's the wings the, this is built into the character or to the figure you can kind of mess with it and get it off I wouldn't recommend it because you may have trouble getting it back on but uh yeah looks really good the blue blast effect looks really good I like the different Everybody wants to make blast effects, you know, yellow, red, that kind of stuff. So the blue, it's cool. Um, the wings, there's the articulation to the wings. Down. Like four little clicks in there. One, two, three. Yeah. So you have four positions of the wings. So cool. Really neat. Like it. All right. Let's get into articulation. There's down, there's up, 360, no problem. Shoulders, up. Bicep swivels a little uh, interrupted by this, by the shoulder pad, which is fine. He does have this ball swivel in there, which doesn't really do anything. Uh, got double jointed elbows, and then you got the Hasbro, or not the Hasbro, got the McFarlane wrist. I like these wrists a lot better than the old ones. Very nice. Uh, let's see here. Ab is pretty loose on this figure uh, for some reason. There's back, forward. You got the swivel there. You got the swivel there. Tons of articulation in the waistline. Did I miss something in the neck? No. Uh, so you got tons of that. Legs a little different. You got out. No upper swivel here. You, you got. It can just kind of shake it. You got double jointed there, um, or double jointed knees. No swivel in the legs whatsoever. You got a movement there for the ankles, and then you can move up and down. So you get a little bit, you got the side there, and then you got the toe crunch. The one thing that I wish had, uh, I keep saying Hasbro, I review so many Hasbro things. <laughs> um, the one thing I wish McFarlane would do is add some swivel in the legs. They never. They just. They have no swivel in the legs whatsoever. Like, there's no. There's no leg swivel down here. There's no boot swivel. There's no swivel in the the hips up here. I mean, torso can go all over the place. I mean, torso is just. You got tons of swivel. Legs? Nope. No swivel. You can't. I can move my legs better than I can move my upper body. But yet, the the figures. You know, just. I don't know. That's the one thing that still kills me. I uh, wish we'd have got some extra hands, maybe some accessories, a Batarang. I don't know what Batwing uses off the top of my head. It's been a minute. But, uh, you know, something a little extra. I do like the blast effects, but everybody always could use some holding hands. Like, 
they just fists kind of suck I, I just be honest with you just getting the fist hands is kind of a letdown if you ever wanted the character to grab something hold something take a video with something you can't do it with that so it's kind of a letdown if you uh, are a photographer or anything like that uh, just I'm not one but you know just thinking out there for them he could be he could be wanting a cup of coffee on the Eiffel Tower you or on uh, Wayne Tower you never know I'm gonna go get the uh, other version and we'll look at him side by side all right so there's the Mattel version and the McFarland version now I'm not I like this look better if it was translated into this body this looks amazing but it needs this paint job or a very similar paint job this one has the awkward stuck wings they do not move they are static it has the big gigantic boots like look at them boots what the heck sorry about the dust he's been there for a while uh, that's insane absolutely insane I think the figure looks decent it's a little outdated uh, and it's Mattel. They could have used a little better, you know, detail to it. But still, think the figure looks good. I think this one's leaps and bounds better. I know that's hard for me to say, uh, <laughs> but take this paint job, put it on this figure. You got a banger, man. You got you got a flawless figure if you take this and put it on this just my in just my take especially with the blue outline there and everything like if this would have showed through if you just take the black and like put it on this they put the metal in the back like i said black wash that'd be awesome all right <laughs> i'm gonna stop rambling you see the difference you got it all right and look he can hold things <gasps> If y'all think I always like figures or I'm always bragging about how much I like the figure or something to that effect, not every video am I talking about how much I like them. And I'm not always banging on McFarlane either because McFarlane makes some really good looking figures. Mattel was not... Mattel had tons of issues. I, I'm not going to lie. I, there's Half of those I didn't collect either because they had so many issues. So McFarlane has their issues. Mattel, Hasbro, they all have their issues. I just call it like I see it. When I have an issue, when I don't like something, I call it out. That's all it is. It's what I'm here for. All right. <laughs> Appreciate you guys stopping by. I do like the figure. I think it looks good. I just wish we would have got a darker version. He just looks too bright to me. Looks too metallic. All right. You guys take care. Have a good one. And remember, it's just plastic. <laughs>